Hey gang, Bronco Carl 92 here. So it's Sunday, September 22nd. Uh, I'm out in the garage and uh, a Jeep showed up for me to work on today. Alright, so uh, my buddy Jim called me up yesterday and uh, he told me that uh, they picked up a, a 2008 Jeep Cherokee for um, his son, um, I guess a couple weeks ago, and uh, they're supposed to give it to him, I guess, next sa Saturday on his birthday. Um, so it's been at his house, kind of hidden, and uh, they started up and the check engine light came on. So uh, you want to know if I could take a look at it? So uh, I told him, sure, bring it over. So uh, let's take a walk over there and uh, see what we got. All right, so uh, here it is. It's a pretty clean vehicle. I was actually supposed to go look at it with him, but uh, I never had a chance. Maybe I'm sorry that I didn't. But uh, anyhow, let me, uh, let me hook up the scanner and uh, see what we got. So my scanner software, I think, only goes to like 2005, but the codes are pretty much OBD universal, so they're pretty much the same. So, Chrysler. Now he thought that the uh, the light might have come on because the things been sitting around, but I don't know. By work, we got cars that sit there for months, and uh, they don't ever have any check engine lights on mysteriously. Well, not ever, but most of the time not. Steward codes. Knock sensor. Okay. Let's, uh, let's take a look under the hood and see if we got anything. Let me just move us over to the garage. All right, so uh, I got it in the garage here. Let me see if this thing actually knocks. No. Okay. So, I mean, to me, usually a knock fault... Um, for a circuit means that there's actually something wrong with the wiring so uh, maybe a critter maybe a critter chewed into the wiring or something so uh, let's get the hood open and uh, let's take a look maybe we get lucky all right so um, I don't really know much about these um, but I, of course we have the internet now if you look right there with that right in the shot there with that rusty bolt that's an aux sensor. I said that's a knock sensor. Um, but on these engines, um, from what I've discovered, not both knock sensors are located underneath the intake manifold. So that's interesting. Now, the next thing I noticed is that if you look Hang on a second. Okay, if you look back here, it's kind of hard for me to get my hand over there, but see that connector here? I'm trying to do this without knocking the camera on too much. Back there, there's a connector that my finger's pointing to. Well, that is a knock sensor connector that's just flopping in the breeze. And over there, I 
another flashlight over here. That connector there is this knock sensor. And if you notice, the wires pinch down underneath the uh, this injector. I guess that's a fuel injector right there. Now, I suppose it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, if you have a knock sensor bolted to your AC compressor bracket, I would think that every time the AC compressor kicks on, it's probably going to think it's knocking. So, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to call Jim up and see what he wants to do about this because um, it seems like a bunch of BS to me. So, Anyhow, uh, I'm going to give him a call and uh, we'll put you back on. Alright, so I called Jim. Um, he seems very skeptical about calling the guy he bought the car from, but I don't know. He only drove it 25 miles. The guy's got to do something for him, wouldn't you think? Yeah, we'll see. So, uh, maybe there'll be a part two to this, uh, where I take the intake manifold and do this job right. So, anyhow, I'm going to go upload this and uh, I'm going to get working on my uh, garage cleaning project, which uh, I did a bunch yesterday, but got more to do. So, thanks for watching. Take care.